My original plan for this dresser changed when I got this piece home. I wanted to use the wood grain for all the drawers and the top, but when I got it home, I noticed all the missing pieces of wood and had to change the plan. First thing first, we are going to need to patch in the missing pieces and scratches with wood filler. the top drawers to show some wood so we will need to sand those. These drawers were the only ones that were decent enough to sand smooth. Once the wood filler dries, we will need to sand that smooth as well. Giving a pleasure to be near me She only tells, never shows She's really changing the rules of how to do things Then I wiped everything down with just water to remove all the dust It was pretty dirty, as you can see by the color of the water. Now we can use clean slate to give it the final cleaning. This is going to help our paint stick and it's the only prep we will need to do. Now we can paint, and that is the best part. All this before, it's boring. <laughs> I'm using this two inch brush and the color I chose is called Tick Tock. It's a beautiful, fresh color. It's just so fresh and fun and bright and happy. Like, that's how I see this color. I have to tell you, this is the best smelling paint I have ever used. Amy Howard paint has essential oils in it and it smells amazing. Just amazing. When painting the inside parts where the drawer slide always go thin. Now we can let the first coat dry and we can work on these drawers. I decided to add liming wax to make the grain pop even more. 
I want it to look like unfinished wood. But liming wax is going to bring that grain and make it look even prettier. This was my first time doing this, so I tried different methods. At first, I used a piece of a t-shirt. Then I tried using a wax brush. It's pretty thick and took some getting used to. Finally, I got used to it and the t-shirt was much better. I just needed to grab more at a time. You want to keep working it in so it can grab all the details in the wood. Then you wipe off all the extra. Liming wax fill up all those pores on the drawers and fill up all the wood and it was looking beautiful. Here is what it looked like before. Liming wax is definitely a thing I will use some more in the future. I really like this effect. Now we can go back to the dresser and add that second coat of paint. This coat will give us solid coverage. Best part is, once you're done painting, you're done. It's done. No top coat needed with Amy Howard at Home Paint. Here is what two coats look like once dry. I decided it needed a little distressing for some character. I wanted to add a little distressing to match the age of this piece. Just a little bit, here and there. Just some light distressing here and there with a 100 grit sandpaper. Once you're done, you will want a damp towel to clean up all that loose dust. I wanted some special hardware for this dresser and what I already had wasn't really doing it. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I got some new beautiful poles. They're so cute! The hardware is so cute, but so is the dresser. Just a perfect combination. Then we can add all our drawers back in and see what it looks like all together. love it. It looks so fresh and fun now. Such a perfect combination. I actually decided it needed one more thing before I call it finished. And that is hot pink drawers, because 
Who doesn't need hot pink doors? <laughs> I used Amy Howard's table for one color and painted the inside and outside of the top drawers. The wood was so old and I wanted a fresh feeling when you open the drawers too. Okay, now we're definitely done. Like, for real now. perfect beautiful and happy dresser I can call this a happy happy dresser what do you guys think what a transformation right what do you think tell me what do you think tell me something I need to know <laughs> I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and you know what you need to do. I love you guys. See you next time. Bye.